Hi Intune friends, in this video I'm gonna answer a comment on one on another YouTube video and the question is how can you ensure that the BitLocker service is running so if it's stopped or not running you can run it with the Remedition script. So let's get into that. So here I have one of my machines. So if we go services for example and let's we don't have to open it as admin because we're not really going to do any admin but let's open it as admin so we're going to have to do a remediation script so we need two script we need one who check is it started if it's not then start it so two script one to look and one to fix if there is an issue so if we go to bitlocker here here we have a bitlocker drive encryption service uh, mine is running. Let's say it's not running, so it's in the state uh, stopped. And that's what we want to fix. We want it to be running. So in order to check this, oh, powershell.ic, let's start out with admin. So I have a few videos on doing all this, but I still uh, uh, try to explain a bit here. So first we need to know check, we can uh, do two script here, one here, this is the detection script and this is the remediation script. The, the detection script check if something is bad, if it's bad it says hey remediation script fix it and that's going to be the second one. So the first one we just want to see if it's running or not. So I'll do some lines down here, actually let me zoom in. Control add can also do. Nice. So we have, if we search here, we can search on service. Let's see which one we want. We probably want to get. A get service sounds good. Uh, so we, we can run that one. You don't have to search here. It was just to show that you can search on command. So we do get service. If we run this, it's going to get all the services. Okay, cool. Well, we want only to get the service, the name of BitLocker. So you would maybe think, well, why we don't type uh, BitLocker or something? Nah, well, it's going to search for all here, but actually called the, uh, I thought it'd be, yeah, it's actually called the BDE SVC. But how can we know that? Well, uh, I thought we have services. Maybe I closed that one. Let's open that one back up. I don't have to be admin. So if we go to BitLocker here, BitLocker Drive Encryption, if we double click on this one, here we have the service name. So it is indeed BDE SVC. Okay, so if we only get for this one and run this uh, now, here, you see down here, yeah, we get only. This one actually says it is running. I thought I had uh, set it to stop. Let's stop it. It probably started by itself. Or maybe I didn't stop it. I forgot. So now if we run it here again, I'll just run this script again. Then it says that for this service, the status is stopped. So let's take this value into variable so we can later check if the variable is equal stopped, then take some action. So I'll call this one GBN BitLocker Service. Pretty long name. And we put that equal to this one. So if we now run this again, we will not get any output down here. Actually, let me clear that. Clear host. If we run this script again. Ah, I forgot to put the dollar for a variable. Now run this again. So now everything that gets output from this get service name for this service, the BitLocker one, is saved in this variable. So if we just copy here and paste this one and just run it, we get the same output. If we want only this value, we put dot status. If we want only this value, we put dot name. If we for some reason want to display name, we put dot display name. So I'll put my variable here. If I put dot and let's put name here, we're going to get this BDE SVC. But 
we're not so interested in that value, right? We want to check what's the status. So let's click here and put uh, status instead. Okay, so that stopped. So this value here, GB, my variable dot status, that's the one we're going to check. So we can do an if statement. So we can do if, and then we put the condition between parentheses. If that's true, do what's in between these curly brackets. So we could basically, and now I paste this variable, if the status, and then do space, dash eq for equal. If that's equal to what in uh, this uh, quotation? Well, if it's equal to stop, and it's actually not the case sensitive, I can uh, stop, then tell that it's a problem so we run the second script. So I basically put uh, write host, Right now, I just write that uh, BitLocker service is stopped. So if we run all our code now, I uh, do clear host here again, just so it's easier to see. Since it stopped, it should write the host because what we actually do is first we get the service, some status, we save that in the variable. Then we ask if the variable, and we want to know the status, if that's equal to stop, then do what's in this curly bracket. So let's run this. And it's actually say BitLocker services stop. Just to prove that it doesn't always do that, let's manually start this service and then run the script again. And it's not going to say BitLocker services stop. It's going to put out all the rest. I'm going to do a clear host again. So it's not going to write this now BitLocker services stop because that's not true anymore. You see, it didn't put it. And why not? Because if we look our GBN BitLocker uh, service.status, it's now going to say running. So now it says running. So when it do this if statement here, is this equal stopped? No, it's equal running. Well, then since this is not true between the parentheses, I'm not going to run what's between these curly brackets. Okay, so what we have to do in the remediation script, and I have a lot of videos about that, is that when you find a state which you don't like, you have to exit the script with, with one. If you exit it with one, then it's going to run the second script. If it exits with anything else, well, then uh, it won't, then it say everything is good. I mean, we could look for other stuff. Imagine that we want it to be always started. We could look that it's started, and if it's not started, then we um, uh, exit with uh, one. We only want to check started, because there are some other uh, states it can be in. It can be paused, resume, but for now we just looked at start. And our remediation script is going to start this one, but you can't start it if it's disabled. So if for some reason this one is disabled, then we need to do another script. I will not show that in this video. Put in comments if you really want to see that. Then I do quickly a video about that. Then basically you do the same. You just query the startup type. If that's set to uh, disabled, change it to manually, manual or automatic. But okay, so this one is uh, started. Let's stop this one. And we can do an else here also, not needed actually, but it's nice. So we can do and write, write host, oh, right, write host, uh, and we can say uh, BitLocker service is not stopped. We can't say that it started because we haven't checked that. We only checked that it's not stopped. And then we can exit with um, uh, zero, which is good. If it's not stopped, then we're happy. So I like to put the uh, comments. I usually put three comments with uh, this hash sign. The script won't run this, but to tell the purpose, uh, check if BitLocker uh, service is uh, stopped. If it is, call uh, remediation script to fix it. And put the author. And well, that's me. And I think date is very often interesting. 
today we are the uh, 9th June 2024 okay so this one is pretty good uh, we could save this one yes before let's do the remediation script so if it's not uh, if it is stopped then it exit with zero then we're gonna run this script I'm gonna copy the comments here so it go faster because it's the same date same author I just need to change here uh, script to start uh, bitlocker service so this script runs only if this one exit with one if not this one won't run so we can put the comment here start bitlocker service and we have that here it's probably called a start service ah it's so small to scroll here our uh, set service start service we want this one so we do start what service probably name well it has the same name as our uh, previous it's this one here so the list that you saw here it actually query all the service that exist so normally this should be enough pretty short script right so i'll just clear host verify that it is not running it is running so our script won't do anything let's uh, stop it manually so now it stopped the service if i check this one here it still says running though oh my bad i can't check a variable this one have already run i must rerun uh, everything so uh well if i run this one first so if I select this and click on here, I don't run all the code, only this part. Now, this one is actually asking, the running was the old value. Excuses for that. Now it says stopped. So now we want to run this and see if that actually starts the service. Hopefully it does. Uh, we can check it in the GUID. Probably need a little refresh here. It is running. We can also check it by code by running this snippet again and check the status it is running so if it's not running we know that this script's going to make it running perfect so we have our both our script let's save them i have some remediation script from earlier so this one is we have remediation script we can call this one detection script and we call uh, check bitlocker service we want it running right it's a bit uh, negative logic here but bitlocker running detection save and this one the one who's going to fix it we can have the same name, but instead of detection, we call it remediation. That's the one who actually fix it. Remediation. Okay. Uh, one little problem. For some reason, PowerShell IEC uh, don't save this in the format UTF-8, but UTF-8 boom. So usually go in and clean them in Notepad++. So just quickly do that. See. Uh, scripts. Remediation. I'm going to open these two in uh, Notepad++. Not now. So this one, if we look in coding here, it's set to UTF-8 boom. And the Intune will give some garbage character in the beginning. Let's call it UTF-8. We save this one. Same for this one. The remediation script encoding UTF-8. Save this one. Okay, we got our two scripts here now. So I put this one back to not working, uh, to not running. Let's go to Intune, intune.microsoft.com. It's gonna authenticate here. Let's go devices. 
let's go to script and remediation. And we have a few one from uh, previous. Let's create one. So this is the easy part when you have done the script. Let's uh, ensure that BitLocker service is running. And I'm normally doing descriptive names that that can work as description. Perfect, we go next. So detection script, it's the one who uh, check if uh, everything is fine. So that's going to be you. And it's here, if you don't change it to UTF-8, you might see some garbage character in the beginning. If, and I said this a million of times, but it's important, if it end with exit one, then this one runs. And that's only if the BitLocker service is stopped because, well, then we wanted it started. So we have the remediation and here it's going to start it. Do we want to run the script as logged in user credential? Definitely no, because if it's not admin, it doesn't have permission to start the service. And for script signature, nope, we didn't sign our signature. Run a 64-bit. Yeah, that, I, that I'm happy to do. So we go next. Uh, I don't use scoop tags. Assignment, I'm gonna, I don't do it for all machines. I'm gonna do it for all Windows machines. You can do it for all devices. I'm going to do it for all Windows devices, though, because I really want BitLocker. So here, how often should it run? I think daily it's more than enough. Uh, since this is not disturbing users, maybe it's just good to run it during a time when they are awake. So daily is a bit too often, but I'll keep it for daily. I, mean, I think... If you need to run it more than daily or more than weekly, you have other problems uh, why this service uh, stop it maybe crash or you have another policy to disable it, then it's better to fix that. So now we have created this one. And so see, let's see if this one works. So for example, I'll refresh this one. BitLocker is not running. Uh, to not wait for this to happen, I'm gonna go and force this to run. So just want to see I'm on 337 it's this one so I click on this one normally you don't have to do this it's just for us to not have to wait so I'm gonna go here and say run remediation still in preview been for quite a while which is not uh, that's pretty common uh, in Indian world um, let's see where we have our Ensure that BitLocker service is running. Let's check this one and run it right now so we don't have to wait for the schedule. So it's running. You can see here, a refresh, still not running. Still not running. There, look what's happened. It's running. So the script worked well. Uh, if I Okay, waited a bit. Now, still not seeing here. Maybe if I refresh, but under device status, yes, we see it detected there was an issue. Good, because it didn't have the uh, BitLocker running and the remediation fixed it. If you have issue here and issue here, that means that find was an issue, but it couldn't fix it. Here we could fix it. I like to add more columns here. So basically you want to add the pre-remediation detection and the output. And let's put that here also. So if we click apply here, we get some more information. For example, the output was that BitLocker service is stopped. That comes from our script here. BitLocker service is stopped. So it's, it's us who control what shows up here. And then after it have run the remediation, hopefully it says is not stopped. Well, started, hopefully. So. That's very good. So excellent. Uh, the two scripts that we created in this video, very short ones, you find them in the description of the video. So you can upload and run this in your environment if you need or do the modification. Always test first on your machine and see that it works good in your environment. Thank you very much for watching. See you in another video. Have a great day.